Have you ever seen this much meat all in one place at one time? Every month. <laughs> it basically started like one night two years ago and just was like, hey, let's, let's grill. And I'm like, okay. We all brought good, you know, inexpensive beer. We all brought food. Just, I think Jesse was the first one that just shouted out. Beer! And it's stuck. <laughs> Man, <-book you! laughs> It's like girls have uh, manic uh, manicure and martini nights. Guys have grilling nights with the guys. <laughs> Essentially what we're looking for is a global barbecue. There are a few rules at the monthly man -bicue. Everybody has to bring some sort of meat product and a bunch of beer. Get a Corona. Each man member is given a nickname. For example, Rick Linus is named Thumbs because he's hooked on his Blackberry. And then there's man founder Jesse Valenciana, the godfather. Also, there's no asking for anything. You just take it. And as for the knives and forks, you won't find any of those. Real men eat with their hands. What started as a couple of guys on a couch cooking frozen burgers has grown into a deep group of grill aficionados with chapters across the country. Soon they'll launch a new website sharing tips and recipes from fellow Mambacu members nationwide. These are supposedly the uh, best burgers in the entire world, I'm told. This is the original Linus burger. Uh, I started out with just blue cheese, parsley, oregano, basil, uh, you know, breadcrumbs, a little bit of butter, a little bit of cream, and actually, I always use a little bit of half and half. What does the cream and the half and half do to the meat? Like, what does that do to the burger? It gives it, you know, a little bit of flavor, you know, a little bit of, makes it nice and juicy. I bring them here, and everybody eats the hell out of them, and, awesome. and it's cool. So that's the blue cheese pouring out of there right there. Take a bite out of it. Mm. That's right, no condiments mm -hmm. at all. What is this? What do you got here? This is homemade Italian. It's very simple. We just buy a whole bunch of pork, run it through the grinder with fennel, black pepper, and salt, and that's it. Uh, these are the famous steak curtains. It's, uh, it's my own personal marinade. I, I use uh, lime, garlic, cumin. Man, so how long do you let it sit in this container before you cook it? Ideally, if you really want to make it good, uh, you can actually use beer as a base, and you cook it over, or you uh, marinate it overnight. When you go to the butcher, make sure they trim the fat, not completely off, but most of it off, and have them tenderize it. Nice, and now where do you go to get your beef? Uh, I tend to go to like ethnic, like a super mercados and stuff. The guys are, really know how to tenderize the meat, and they trim off the fat. It, since it's a thinner meat, you don't want to cook it for more than like four or five minutes per side, and even that might be too long. Like That's I said, you have to sit there at the grill and yeah, really watch. And really watch, or else if you cook it for too long, they taste like junk. And as each Mambicue event comes to a close, the guys bond with a special ceremony. This is our Mambicue cup. This is the, this manly, the cup. manly cup. I mean, this is like exactly like what we come here for. Rick hosted last month, so now what he has to do is he has to take a shot with the next host, which is me and Tommy over here. And then does the new host take this home and keep it, or? Yeah, yeah everybody okay. holds it for, for the month that they're hosting. Well, it's, we're trying to grow it. We're just trying to get clubs everywhere, you know, just kind of make this like a nationwide thing. You know, start off in Chicago, we've got a club in Texas. You really have to enjoy grilling good food and drinking good beer. I mean, that's what it comes down to. It's a, it's a guy's night out, just hanging out with your friends.